Right, welcome everyone to another Phil and Luke podcast. As always, we're going to cut through the crap and get straight to it and talk all about it. So today's topic is all talking about um, social media versus reality. Now, uh, I wanted to talk about this because I get a lot of people, I, I say I get a lot of people, I get my mum, my cat, and my dog asking me, cat, are you really this happy? Okay, are you really for the energy all the time? And um, why are you always like, you know, jumping around, chatting? And is this you every single day? Or are you a fraud, an absolute liar? And really, you cry at home every single night. So, me and Phil will cover this right now, okay? Um, so you know, are you sure you want to do this live? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we might do a pre recorded version. <laughs> So what, what's your thoughts on it then? Let's get uh, straight into the green. So thoughts on on social the social media is general, right? Yeah. In terms of what you feel is good about it, what you feel is bad about it. There's obviously going to be pros and cons to everything, but with social media, I think for us and for businesses as such, like if you're using it as a tool, it's very effective in terms of its capability to reach a lot of people that you don't know. And people that you can market to and people that you can um, feed information to as well and all that kind of stuff so I feel like when social media is used as a tool it's a, it's probably one of the best inventions that's ever been made or, or are up there with one of the best inventions that's ever been made however for on the flip side for people that use it for like reality and you know like personal stuff I think it can be very detrimental to people's lifestyles yeah, yeah, in, in in and that's such a broad range of things, from spanning, like to to your health, um, because you know you could be someone who doesn't, um, outgo doesn't exercise every day because you're stuck on your phone, or it could be the other way, your mental health because you're you're too busy looking at what other people are doing and wishing your life away and wishing what they had and all that kind of stuff. So it's there's there's a fifty fifty really. It, de- it depends how you're using it and what the purpose of it for you is. Yeah. I personally think the best invention ever been made was an espresso machine. <laughs> or a cost machine. Or a cost machine. If I had a cost machine, I might be out. Oh, could you imagine? I feel like bringing Costa up, right, and going to them. You need a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I do? Have you got the app? No. I haven't got the app either. Do you we, know the we app? literally grab. Yeah. Do you know the amount of app coffees I've gone through and I don't have the app? <laughs> yeah. I don't, it's like a co op card. Do you have one of that? No. Or a Morrison's card? No, they always go if you've got a Morrison's card. I can't, like, they were a Waitrose card. Yeah, no, why not get one then? Why not? I just can't it's be effort, it's setting up. I just think you get an email through, and it's not oh, like, oh, yeah. you save like two pennies of your shopping. Yeah, but imagine that. Too, imagine how many costas we can have by now. And that's what I mean. Three costas. I know. That's what I think. <laughs> have you ever gone up and um, ordered a regular, but really you bought a large? No. No, all right. Yeah, I actually yeah. haven't. Yeah. I actually <laughs> haven't. I actually haven't. I haven't I'm really guilty because it's really close to machines. I got a little cookie day, uh, Kit Cut with it the other day. Did you? I've done like 50p, yeah. Do you know what I am? Um, I did the new ones, right? The, the new ones do it. They do it. Um, espressos. Right. So you know you normally. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the one um, yeah. sparring down, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And I get the latte sometimes, but it's never strong. So you so put the espresso. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't be hacked. <laughs> I double it up. Oh dear. Yeah. And I make sure he's not looking. always like this. So yeah. I make sure he's not looking. That's yeah. the face. Although I did look at me. I get really nervous. I'm like sweating when I'm doing it. Oh, so you don't pay for the no, it's, Of course you don't. It's coffee, in it? It's one coffee. You pay for the coffee. Before you boom, take them both up to the door and then I'll Anyway, anyway come mm-hmm. back to it. Right. Social media versus reality. So for me, I had a, the reason I did the topic was because on Wednesday, I was, um, I went out for a meal, right? I went out with my mate, and you are working, you know, I went in the morning, and I thought, right, go. And then I was just about to get a photo of where I was, right? And I thought, no one cares. Because am I just showing off, right, of where I am, where I'm eating, and what I'm eating, right? When everyone else is doing a hard graft at work working. Mm. And is that just going to turn around? And I just look at that and think, I'm pissing off a bit. Do you know what I mean? I do understand what you mean. However, again, that's the personal and the business side of things because for me, for, for, for someone who looks at that, yeah, there may be people who, who look at it in a negative way and say, oh yeah, I'm at work and he's away eating and stuff like this. But actually, for a business side of things, what you want to do is to spark conversations with people. Yeah. So actually putting a post up without any text, without any location or anything, someone might be interested in that and ask yeah. what you're up to. That's a spark of conversation, and you could then generate that conversation into a sale. Yeah, so true. it's it's it, uh, there's two sides to that as well. Yeah, like some people might think, yeah, 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 show it off, but then 
you could get a lot of benefit from that as well. It's become for me. I feel like social media is more about like education mm -hmm. and content. Yeah. And actually, if I didn't have, if I didn't do fitness, I probably wouldn't do much on social media because I wouldn't really see a benefit. You know, the, reason right, I, yeah. the reason I post on sea swims every single Sunday yeah. is it makes me accountable for doing the sea swim. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to go and tell people to do sea swims and cold water showers if I don't do it myself. Yeah. And the only way I can show that I do it myself is actually by showing it on camera and doing it. Yeah. I show my Sunday night run because every single Sunday I go for a run. And yeah. I love the feeling it gets. And I want to yeah. show the people you don't have to sit on your ass all day and be lazy on a Sunday and do it. And I like showing people what I eat because I want to show people I'm not a robot. Mm -hmm. But if I show every single time I'm out eating, sometimes I think that can be misconstrued into a bragging yeah. and like being, oh, he's, being, he's bragging where he is, where he's at. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of people social media are like. You either get people that maybe haven't got the opportunity to do the things... That you, that you may be doing, yeah. right? And there's people I look at, you know, above, like, much, Miles much above, above, yeah, above yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got clients that fly first class. Yeah. Do you know I mean, I've never flown first class in my life. No. I fly cattle class. Ryanair, I probably wouldn't ever fly first class because yeah. even if I could afford it, I probably just couldn't be asked to spend, I don't think justify spending the money on it. No. I think it's just when, a seat at the end. It's a seat yeah. to go for four hours, five hours. Yeah. I'd rather spend the money when I'm on holiday. Yeah. When I got to the holiday, yeah, yeah. on a better hotel, better food. I wouldn't, well, I don't want to sit somewhere, right? But I can get a bed for six, seven hours yeah. when I could just spend that money, that like five, six grand, on probably the most spectacular hotel ever. There's the business side coming out again. Yeah, yeah I suppose. I've, I've better experience in there. Yeah, it's, so I think. But then I could easily go first. Not so, don't quote me on that. Not right now, right? <laughs> but you'd go first class, yeah. right? And then you'd flash about it and take pictures of it. Would you be happy in the person going right air flights? Uh, any other probably any, at the time uh, I'd say at the time yeah but if you're both on the same flight say say there's a first class deck and then there's the what's it called economy is that, is uh, that yeah economy yeah business, is that just first class business, business class you get economy plus yeah and then you get like cattle class I think it's just cattle class <laughs> which is what we sit in <laughs> yeah this is the lowest of the low you know the just real normal ones. yeah and then you get basic economy on the toilet the yeah. one by the toilet is like one where you really don't want to be yeah because big barry's been in there <laughs> Yeah, he's had a tikka masala. The door, the door opens, and you're like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, he always, always. But uh, uh, on the flight, you'd probably be a happier person, of course, because you're you've got people coming asking you for. Oh, well, I don't know what happens, but by the looks of things, champagne. You know, you get a, a meal. You know, you get to lie down, close your eyes, all this kind of stuff. But actually, when you both step off the flight, you're both in the same place. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, and the thing is, you've gone to the same destination, haven't you? Yeah. But it's truthful, it's who you're with and what you're doing. I know some really, really moody people that are rich. Some really, really moody people. And I also know some really happy people that are rich. Yeah. But I also know some really moody people that haven't got a lot of money. Some really happy people that don't yeah, have a lot of money. Lot of money. Yeah. So I think you're gonna get it all end of the spectrum. It doesn't matter what you've got, I don't think. You hear all the time, don't you? Yeah. Oh, money doesn't make you happy. But on the apprentice, right? There's a the well-known saying, this is what I like, yeah. the bloke said he'd rather be crying his eyes out of a Ferrari than crying his eyes out in a foot of Punto. Fair enough. Because you've got the option A, option B, you would pick option A, yeah, you yeah, yeah, But Ferraris, what yeah. I would say is, going back to this, before we go on a tangent, flying cattle class and stuff, that people only show you on Instagram what they want you to see, yeah. right? If I had a massive argument with my mum, right, I wouldn't then vlog it and take a picture of myself crying in the corner, yeah. right, and put it up to get five, six, ten likes. Do you still cry? <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Big girls don't cry. Yeah. Remember that. But it's true, isn't it? You're only going to show the good bits. So when everyone was always like, oh, I don't know, could they really be that happy? Yeah. You know, they're always doing something. You don't see behind the scenes where you get up at 5 a.m. Yeah. and you do your morning meditation. Yeah. You do your morning yoga. You do your morning breathing techniques. You do your daily gratitude. You don't see the bits where... You know, you're working. Right, it's a struggle. Client, yeah. client, 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 like the churn. Yeah. I, I started at seven this morning, and I've got clients back to back till seven tonight. Yeah. Now, do I want to show every single client I'm doing, right, and take a snapshot of every client? Yeah. Because that'd be pretty boring. I'm only going to show you the quick snippets of what I'm doing. Like, and if people don't get that, then you must be... It's a false image, isn't it? You get a bit of people create nowadays. Yeah. It's a false image, yeah. And it's like people go away on weekends, and they have to, like, you know, they feel like they have to go out for food all the time, you know? Mm. They can't be happy just doing nothing. Yeah. Have to be doing something. Have to be bragging. Like, I bought a jumper. I still own a jumper. Bought it. It's no different to a normal jumper. Yeah. I bought a 20 quid jumper from Zara. I looked at the quality of them. To be fair, they're both the same. Like, I'm yeah. not saying they're all better. Yeah. But it's no different. Yeah. It's just the badge on it that 
It's that it's that logo. It's, like, yeah. it's, it's the one. It's the need for gratification, mm. really, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. It's the, it's, it's, it's the. It's the. I suppose for me, I find it's sometimes like that. It's the. It's the kind of walking down the street and knowing that a couple of eyes are going to be turned, or you know, heads are going to be turned. And, yeah. You know, you're going to have that just that spark of moment of attention, and I, I feel like that sounds very arrogant and very, you know, a bit RC and all that kind of stuff. But it's that. That should all come in. Um, oh, what should we call it? You know, um, moderation. Moderation. It's yeah. good to have yourself to to feel a little bit like that sometimes. It's good to have a little bit of you know yeah, short definitely. gratification because that's that, that's naturally built into us. But you don't want to get full on dead set on just having that all the time, trying to be the best, trying to have the best things. But a lot of people look uh, fit fingers are bad thing for people to, to, to want a little bit of attention and you know maybe put a story up and want people to reply back to that story or have a jumper and want people to reply back or look at your jumper when you're walking down the street that's that's not all bad that's that's actually good to have that sometimes but you don't want to get like I say caught in a cycle of just always looking for people's gratification that's, that's what yeah. I, mean. I think it's like do you, what you gotta ask yourself why you're putting the picture up in the first place yeah like I've got a picture up with me and the dogs or me and Bex yeah it's like oh I just want to show off that, like, you know, we're having a great time. A good bit of fun. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's kind of like, oh, if I'm at a music event, I want to get a picture, and I like things stuff. You go in the moment, the time, and bang, yeah. done. But I've got this frustration when people think to themselves, like, oh, they always say, people always go to me, oh, are you always this much, but you're always this full of energy, yeah. you're always this happy. And the truth is, no, I'm not. No. Like, not. I don't, and I never told anyone I was. Yeah. No one, I never said to anyone on camera, I'm the happiest guy in the world. Yeah. And I never said I don't moan. Yeah. And I never said I'm not angry, right? Yeah. And I don't understand you get labelled this thing of thinking like, oh, he's putting a persona. <laughs> yeah. He's putting a, a persona on. Yeah. And it's not really him. But the fact, the truth of the matter is, this is me, right? It's just, I probably have times when I like to be a bit quieter. Yeah. Right? But I'd be that behind closed doors. I manage my energy well. When I'm training, when I'm on this. Yeah. I'm full of energy because that's what I'm there for. This yeah. is me. It's well, it's the job that you've been put down to do, isn't it? Yeah. You can't you can't go into a client, for example, and just be like mopey. You can't get you can't go into a session or no matter what's happened two minutes before, is it? It's like yeah. You you, you didn't check your phone before the clients phone for stuff, a client. you? because you don't want to impact. Yeah. Put that's, about that's a lot of that's what I started doing um, during lockdown. Is getting kind of um, relates into social media and stuff like that, but. I deleted Snapchat um, about three, four weeks into lockdown. It's basically a social media service where you can either just, it started off as just messaging people um, and with, with photos and pictures and stuff. And then you could put like stories up. Send nudes. And then send nudes, yeah, a lot of that. Um, group <laughs> chats, what? <laughs> what no, group chats, all that kind of stuff. And it, it was like four weeks into lockdown. And I kind of realized like on there, all you kind of do is just share there's no content to it really. You just kind of put photos up of your new shoes or you put photos up of your new iPhone or, you know, you message your friends about, you know, you want this. It's, it's, it was just a load of rubbish. And like you're saying, you didn't check your phone before clients. I, every morning, used to roll over on the side of the bed for half an hour and scroll through who'd messaged me. I'd want to wake up to a message. Yeah. I wanted that, like, you want, it, you want it straight away. So I, I, I didn't let that dictate my morning, so I, I wiped that out of my life. And Instagram now as well, I've set like a two hour cap limit. Yeah. So basically, you can override it if you want to. Like, if it gets to two hours, you can say, ignore it for today, kind of thing. But since I've done that, I've noticed that I've never actually hit that ignore limit because yeah. I know that it's there. Yeah. You can't, you kind of limit yourself to it. But you, you exposing yourself to all this um, consumerism all the time is, 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 is what the, the, the bad thing is. is What's going to lead you down the garden path of wanting all of people's like attention all the time, kind of thing? Definitely. Yeah. I think as well. It's like, like I just find it hard. I think like um, the way the world's gone nowadays is like you always want to post all the time. I've got to post, I've got to post, I've got yeah. to post. Yeah. And like you're saying that, like, I only post purely because I think about it for work terms. Yeah. I think to myself, this is like you know, as a business, that's the reason I post. Yeah. You know, and that's that's the way I think about. It. I go live for, um, business. I won't. I wouldn't sit here now. And literally post about what I'm eating if it didn't have a purpose for it. Yeah. It's got a purpose. You know, it's content. It provides people content, it provides people education, a bit of humour, you know, and it gives something to listen to. Hopefully some people can take some bits away from it yeah. and be like, great. 
Is it, is it, yeah, you're helping people along yeah. the way rather than just a so, mindless post that. And showing people that, you know, all those people that actually put a load of fake crap out there and literally post all the time to try and pretend they're happy yeah. when secretly they're not really that happy and they're only happy in materialistic things, right? But they can't take happiness out of a dog walk. Yeah. They can't take happiness out of a sea swim. They can't take happiness out of just going for a run. Do you know what I mean? Or just feeling good about themselves. Yeah. yeah. You know, it has to be about, rather than going for a run, it's got to be about buying the latest jumper. It's all yeah. about buying. Or, or, or getting a new pair of shoes to run in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can't just go for a run. Or, or like, um, or like videoing the fact that you've done a run, or yeah, 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 do you know what I mean? yeah. Like rather than enjoying it. The thing is, I think the problem is nowadays is people feel like they've got to put. They call it like um, Strava wankers, don't they? <laughs> well, that James yeah, says that yeah, like, yeah. Like when they go like literally, people have to post all the time. Yeah, I don't post my runs. No, because the thing is, one, my time's crap. Right, two, it becomes obsessive, mm -hmm. and I just want to enjoy the run. Exactly, that's the thing. You enjoy the moment rather than. That's why it's a fine line between it. So you, you said about music events, like yeah. putting up a video, but actually my mom made a very good point to me. Like if you're there, cause I used to go, obviously last year I went to festivals and stuff like that. And she was, she did all these videos and she yeah. was like, but while you were videoing it, were you actually looking at the music and were you actually looking at the scenes or were you looking at your phone on the video? Yeah. And I was like, actually that's such a good point because you've just missed, so you video for 30 seconds, you've just missed 30 seconds of that experience. Yeah. yeah. Because you you can't see it, but it's through something else. It's not actually looking at it in the in the real, real real time, if you like. Yeah. So one thing I would say though, normally when I've posted, yeah. I posted in the moment. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. And then you posted. I didn't suddenly feel like I don't know why you don't. You literally wake up the next day. You feel like you look back even this. I think one it looks crap. Yeah. Two the sounds. Yeah. It's always a terrible yeah, video. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> Yeah. And you're like, and all I like can hear is like me just going chew in the back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. And I think to myself, like, what was the point in that? No one's sat there watching it. They're probably just skipping through. Yeah, it. right. Like, just yeah. seeing a couple yeah. of likes. It's like, nah. I know, but I hope that gives people some content, and um, I want people to realise that it's true. People aren't as happy as they make themselves out to be all the time. I would say what you see is what you get with us. Mm -hmm. We protect our energy well. We look after ourselves. We make sure we get plenty of sleep. We make sure we eat a lot of unprocessed food. We make sure we drink plenty of water. I don't drink barely anything. You drink minimal, I, like now and again, like not stupid. I wouldn't say you go mad. I wouldn't get. I wouldn't You're say I go drinker, mad. Are you? No, I'm no. not. No, I'm not. You're like a weekend warrior. I'm like no, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not. I wouldn't. Friday, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I didn't drink a beer at home or something yeah. like that. But on the, I go out one day a weekend. But I'm actually really enjoying this feeling you know yeah. on the weekends feeling fresh and not feeling a bit fluffy tailed like on a friday and a saturday kind of thing it's actually it's, it's really enjoyable so I'm yeah like, i might carry this on through i don't know yeah but the thing is it's one of those things i just don't like i could easily be teetotal someone said to me tomorrow you can't drink another pint of alcohol in your life you'd be like all right wouldn't bother me yeah literally yeah someone said you could go to the gym again that would bother me yeah someone said i could walk the dogs again that would bother me our priority list i'd probably say drinking is probably 20th down the list yeah there's like a million other when you things. put it into perspective, it is. Yeah, it is. In terms of how I feel, I just always think of how I feel the next day. Yeah. Or the next few days. A few beers, fine. Right. Mm. I don't drink beers. So I don't know why I've said a few beers. A few ciders, fine. Right. But. <laughs> but when you feel awful the next day, yeah. and you feel terrible, and you're eating it's crap not, food, it's not well. lack of sleep, you think to yourself, was that really good for those few hours? Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. And you can say it was a great night, but I'd rather have great days. Than great nights or great weeks rather than like one good afternoon yeah and now and again it's fine but i, I always do it now and again you know i think at the moment as well there's you know, there's better things to focus on than going up to the pub till 10 o'clock kind of thing people talk about mental health nowadays drinking yeah going out getting boozy and all the rest of it on a weekend isn't exactly going to help how you're feeling inside is it you I get feel it, crap yeah. about yourself people wonder why they feel bad they're like i don't feel myself and I'm like, yeah, you don't feel yourself because you're up till six in the morning yeah. doing God knows what, right? <laughs> Lack of sleep, barely eating, right? You know, and then and, then when, and then when you do eat, it's like rubbish. Rubbish food, and yeah. then you wonder why you don't feel yourself. Right, yeah, mm. I understand that one. I understand why people think they can treat their body like an absolute, like, garbage truck. Like and a then, machine. Yeah, and then think it's going to be fine the next day. Yeah. I mean, it bounces back, but it doesn't bounce back that hard, does it? No. On that note, we'll finish it there. Yes. There we go. Over and out from us. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll be on for next week for another episode. See you all soon, everyone.